Number 30, letter A. Convert normal blood pressure readings of 120 over 80 millimeters of mercury to newtons per meter squared using the relationship for pressure due to the weight of a fluid, blah, rather than a conversion factor. All right, so here we have this formula. Pressure is equal to the height multiplied by the density multiplied by gravity. And uh, we have to convert these independently. All right, the blood pressure is 120 millimeters of mercury over, it's not really a division, okay? It's, this is right systolic pressure, when the heart is beating, or when it's contracting, I should say. Diastolic then is on the bottom when the heart is uh, relaxing during the, you know, in uh, the time between the beats. So this is going to be 80 millimeters of mercury. So we got to look at each one separately. So this is pretty, I mean, this is pretty straightforward. The height here that was given was 120 millimeters, okay? But... 120 millimeters. But remember, I got to convert this thing into meters because I have to create it in standard units. So I mean, I'm using a conversion factor somewhat, but I have to do a, a conversion within this. Um, so we have to, you know, basically take then the 120 uh, millimeters and divide it by 1000 to get it in terms of meters. So here's our height. The density of mercury then you need to use because that's what we're discussing, right? The density of mercury here was going to be 13,600. Uh, that is kilogram per cubic meter, and the gravity is 9.8. We'll get our answer. And then why don't we just do the same thing for the diastolic, all right? We got 80 over 1,000. It's the same thing, right? Times 13,600. And then multiplied by 9.8. What do we get? So 120 over 1,000 times then 13,600 times 9.8. And here we get a value. I'm just going to round... All right, 1.60 times 10 to the 1, 2, 3, 4, times 10 to the 4th. This is now in Pascals. And then similarly for the bottom, 80 divided by 1,000 uh, times 13,600 times 9.8. And we get a value here of about, oh, what do we get? So we get 1.06. 1.06 times, again, times 10 to the 4th, it looks like, Pascal. So these would be the two readings, systolic, diastolic. All right, discuss why. Then part B, discuss why blood pressures for an infant uh, could be small, smaller than those for an adult. Specifically, consider the smaller height to which blood must be pumped. So right, less height, less pressure is needed, lower blood pressure. I mean, that that's basically all it is. And in terms of though, you know, thinking about then, well, what about the resistance that might be experienced? Right, that's really uh, more of a major factor. All right, the total peripheral resistance is much larger in an adult because the length of all the blood vessels are much, much, much longer in total length uh, than in an infant. So you'll experience larger uh, resistive forces. Also, though, they you know, counteracted, right, counterbalanced by the fact that those vessels probably are larger as well. So therefore, flow would be increased. Uh, thinking about Poissois' law, you know, where pr uh, resistance is uh, a function of the fourth power um, of the radius. This would be an interesting thing to discuss. However, I've discussed this enough. I'm tired. Thanks for tuning in. Until next time.